Okay, now spooky season has officially begun for me. I just got back from watching Oddity. Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, I am Star from the Horror Cat Super Show, and today we're going to be talking about Oddity. Now, I got to start this off by saying it's spoiler free, but I am not even going to tell you guys what this movie is about. And the reason is because I did everything in my power after the fiasco of watching Long Legs not to watch or have any information going in, and I think that was the absolute best way to do it. So I'm not going to give you any information other than what I thought about the film. Let's start with the running time. It's an hour and 38 minutes. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, the first part of this film, uh, it's a slow, this is going to be another slow burn. This is a psychological horror. I, I don't want to say too much more than that because I think that would start giving things away. It takes a minute to kind of pick up, but once it picks up, you get very involved with what's happening and you're off to the races. This got almost no hype. This was in very limited theaters. I was only able to see it in one theater around my area. And there was only a few people in the theater as well. So you really have to be a fan of horror to know what this movie is. You weren't just going to walk into it willy nilly. What I'm going to say is this film really gave off Hammer Film vibes. And I was there for it. It's almost... <sighs> I don't want to say completely gothic because the scene is not completely gothic, but yes, it is. It has that kind of 60s gothic hammer feel. I don't want to compare it in any ways to Long Legs because that's its own animal. But I do want to say that I was kind of hesitant about going to another film after that because I was really kind of disappointed with Long Legs. And you can see the, my review on that. Um, this one, I was pleasantly surprised this is something that almost nobody heard really about there was no big promotion on it this is the way i think we should see horror movies things that uh we're going into kind of blind and we're experiencing them for the first time and this movie is very atmospheric it's very claustrophobic as well you get a lot of aerial shots in there to let you know that you're in a place that's secluded pretty much from everyone else that really adds to the creepiness vibe it adds to the isolation vibe to the story the house in itself to me was almost its own character because there was a lot of stuff going on in this house i loved the premise of this film it was clean simple horror this is what i like in and out like <laughs> No, no time, time for the in and out, love. love. I'm just here to read I'm the meter. Read the Basically, meter. that's what it was. Is this scary? I thought it was scary. Simplistic, minimalistic. It was perfect. It wasn't a lot of over anything. The story in itself was simple, but complex enough to keep you interested to pretty much through the whole thing. Now, again, coming from long legs and all of that overhyped, this was very refreshing. The cinematography is really stunning in this one as well. The textures, the house, the paintings on the wall, there's a lot of wide open spaces, but you still get that feeling of claustrophobia. And the thing in here is creepy. Uh, the vibe is, is really creepy. <laughs> uh, it spooked me. It spooked me. I took my son and we were, we were like, that's <laughs> And I love that. It's been a while since I've had a really good scare like that. Like I said, I think the big draw here is going to be the jump scares. They're quality jump scares. And if you're into that kind of thing, not where it's like, oh, the cat jumping over or somebody opening the door. No, no, no. It's not. It's not those kind. These are like the real deal jump scares. So I think this is really what's going to set this movie apart from other movies. My score is out of 10. This one is an eight, eight and a half. I really enjoyed it. Perfect spooky fun. A great way to usher in the spooky season this is a really great movie to watch go see it with your friends go see it by yourself and then i know i definitely am going to watch this again when it comes out on shutter but i'm glad i got to experience it in the theater because i think that heightened the experience for me getting those jump scares in a super dark theater did i just see the best movie of 2024 i don't know I, we still have a ways to go but up till now uh this is going to be one of my favorites in in my top five of 2024 so did you see oddity let me know down below what you thought i had such a great conversation last time with you guys on the long legs review so i would love to do that again let me know what you thought that there wasn't so much hype around this one and this one i feel actually delivers i'll talk to you guys next time and until we meet again shiver scream repeat bye bye tell everyone you know to come on down to the horror cat super show